In this subchapter on metadata curation, we now focus on the practical aspects of key value pair annotation in Nomero. We have introduced key value pairs as a concept consisting of a key denoting some object or abstract concept and the value, which is the specific value for this key. And we have shown examples like the cell type specified by the value CD4 positive T cell or the disease model specified by its value. Key value pairs as is true for tags, are part of the metadata in Omero found under the General tab. They can be applied at all levels, images, datasets and projects. We will now focus on three ways of annotating metadata in Omero. Manual key value pair annotation, but also using bulk annotation tools. This depends on scripts in Omero web, and this option is only available if the respective scripts were installed for Omero web by the Omero administrator. We will also have a look at the Metadata Editor tool, Omero MDE. This can be used during the data upload with Omero inside. To add a key value pair manually, just select the image or images or dataset or projects, go under the General tab and fill out the keys manually in the Key Value Pairs toggle. Once you have entered the key value pairs, you can make use of the key value pairs in the search function as we have seen before. Just use the key separated from the value with a colon in the search field and make sure that you have selected all annotations under the restriction for fields. As next, we focus on the key value pair annotation with Omero bulk annotation tools. This is dependent on a script originally designed by Christian Evenhus and then modified by other community contributions. In this case, you use a tabular format. Create a table where the first row contains the keys in each individual column. The first column in the first row must be labeled with image. In Omero Inside, but unfortunately not in Omero Web, you can just select a group of images and copy those images. You can thus copy the image names into the tabular format under the key image. Now you can fill out all the individual values under the keys for each individual image in your tabular format as necessary. Then you save the table as a comma-separated values table format. If the correct script is installed in Omero Web, you can go to the dataset in Omero Web and add the CSV table under the Attachments toggle. Make sure that you select the dataset for the images and not the individual images themselves. Now click on the Scripts icon, go to Annotation Scripts and from there to Key Val from CSV. Optionally, you can beforehand use the Scripts icon in the Attachments toggle, where you can then mark the CSV table attachment before the next step. Once you have chosen the script, you can see the script input window. If you have marked the CSV table before, it will be automatically filled. Otherwise, you can enter the annotation ID. Once finished, click Run Script. Then you can review the script results. Omero will show you that the key value pairs were successfully added. Now you can check the individual images in Omero Web to see if all the key value pairs were successfully added. Optionally, you could also remove all key value pairs. Here you mark the annotation scripts and choose the Remove key val function. Here we highlight a potential issue that sometimes came up with our use case partners. In some cases, the key value pair script fails. The reason is that the script itself has to look for the correct delimiter. This is called delimiter sniffing. If the delimiter is not correctly identified by the script, the script just chooses one. Note that German and English Excel versions can use different delimiters in the CSV file format. So while the script tries to identify the correct limiter, it may occur that it is not correctly determined. This might result in a failure to correctly assign the key value pairs. While this problem is currently being worked on and might be already overcome when you see this video, if this problem occurs, just consult with your Omero administrator to solve this issue. Lastly, let's also focus on the Omero MDE tool, which is part of the Omero importer client that you can use during upload. When you use the Specify Metadata tab in Omero Inside during the import process, then you can choose the individual OME data model based input fields, where some of the data is automatically put in. Here is an example. The metadata field for the experiment contains a description and an experiment type. You can also add the experimenter name. 
you can use the entry mask to annotate metadata, but also it will show you the automatically extracted metadata from the original files based on the Bioformats library. Omero MDE can be configured and it complies with the OME data model. Once you have used Omero MDE, this metadata will also show up under the key value pairs. Note that the key value pairs that you added during the import cannot be edited manually afterwards. This is a feature to protect essential metadata from being accidentally corrupted afterwards in Omero Web. In the next subchapter, we will focus on ontologies for key value pairs, but let's give a preview. For humans, natural language terms are very good and easy to understand because we can grasp context. However, for computers, natural language terms can be ambiguous. Computers rely on unique identifiers. That makes data machine-readable. However, unique identifiers, such as URIs or URLs, are hard for humans to read. In Omero, there is not a specified way how key-value pairs and ontologies should be linked. But what could be current recommendations? Our approach to ontology-based annotation in Omero recommends to use key-value pairs for both ontology terms and natural language terms, but also using the ontology term reference. To do so, use an ontology-derived term for a specific key as the value. Then add as a second key value pair the ontology term URL. Choose here the same key name and add the string term accession number. This is based on the ISA tab recommendation. Here is an example. When you use the key value pair key biological entity and the value is the T-cell receptor complex, then just add a second key value pair where you choose biological entity term accession number and then as a value the URL that resolves to this ontology term. It very much depends on your research field, your experimental setup, your analysis strategy and your intended reuse potential for your data, how you should annotate data and what sufficiently enriched data would mean. There are recommendations for bioimaging specific metadata. As we have shown before, you can review the RAMB guidelines, the recommended metadata for biological images, or more tiered, tailored guidelines. There are even more recommendations for specific subcommunities. Review the I3D Bio website under i3dbio.de for more recommendations.